Good morning everyone and welcome back to the channel and welcome back to Athens. Now, yesterday, Sunday, bit of a fun day. We had a blast through Athens riding and a bit of talking business, but mainly riding and having fun. But today is Monday, so we actually have to do some work. Uh, the plan for today is to go to Trikala and see the so-called factory. It's basically where the big hub, the big warehouse, uh, where all the motorcycles come in to Greece and are prepped before they go into onto the showroom floor. Now, why exactly am I going there? Is to see my role specifically is to see certain motorcycles that are not for sale yet or are just going on sale right now. See them, test them, and uh, give my opinion on them. See how they are. See if we're gonna import them to Romania and pretty much just look around and see how they organize the warehouse, the logistics and everything related to before sales of the motorcycle. But we'll see what we'll see there and for now let's get on the road. Many hours later. Alright, so we made it to the Gorgolis central headquarters in Trikala. Now they have a showroom here up front, back offices in the back and uh, also warehousing and uh, putting together of scooters and motorcycle when they come from the transport from the containers. But first, the showroom. Let's go inside and see what we can see. Come on. First we import the samples from China. Now we want just one, two at a time because they, the headquarters of the motor is in Europe. Mm -hmm. This is the color in which Maxim Pierre the new color of Maxim will come. Oh, this is indigo. Indigo, no? This is the color. Normally we have uh, real color. This is from the Aikman. Uh -huh. Is it functional? We have not uh, driven it. Yeah. <laughs> wants to drive it. Yeah. <laughs> So now we have containers uh, arrived and the building is full of motor. We bring and pack. Last time we were here, it was empty. It was empty. Now it's not empty. But if you want to order, it is available in 25 kilometers and 45. For Barbus, what was built there? Yeah. My area. <laughs> it's your area. <laughs> containers. Parts are arriving by containers. Full. 20 feet containers. Usually all 40 feet. All right. So, yep. peeps we're here at the Gorgolis headquarters and we're currently testing the DY Moto Mista which should be soon available for sale or I think it is available for sale in Greece and we may just bring it to Romania we haven't decided yet let's see just how it is now first impressions we have a 150 cc engine with 16 and a half horsepower liquid cooled and uh, the scooter weighs about 160 kilograms it feels pokey 
and carries its weight pretty decently let's see the brakes nice brakes good good positive feel on the levers the ABS is not too intrusive let's see when we brake traction it remains nice and stable yeah the ABS is good traction is good so this is an ADV style scooter now the ADV market is starting starting to pick up right now and uh, everybody is getting getting into the ADV game but what what I think sets this apart from uh, some ADV scooters is the fact that it actually has pretty soft suspension now it does feel a little bit wallowy when you brake and when you accelerate because it kind of does this all the time but then again when you're on the bumps it it soaks them up really nicely the weird part is is after you've taken the bump it kind of takes a little bit to settle now this is this is a pre-production model so on the back the production models would ha will have remote reservoir shock absorbers this one doesn't it has regular shock absorbers and uh, I think maybe that's a bit of wobbliness but if it's an ADV scooter let's just have some fun with it you can actually ride it standing yep it's actually rideable while standing not the best of positions but it is actually rideable and uh, on terrain like this this uh, very soft wallowy suspension is actually pretty good the tires don't have much grip on grass they are a bit of a intermediate knobbly tires but definitely more 80 percent on road and 20 percent off road but they apparently they're handling it pretty decently come on girl Whew. let's turn it around and let's look at it a little bit <laughs> this is decent off-road because of the soft suspension you can actually take liberties with it off-road but let's take a look at it a little bit let's put it on the center stand lights on so this is the DY Moto Mista we have a full array of LED lights we have 14 inch wheel up front 13 in the back 150 cc 16 horsepower bit of a knobbly tire it does the job pretty decently we have some decent ground clearance on the bottom and I didn't bottom out on this bit of uh, off-roading the front end is positive the front suspension and the rear suspension work decently good fit and finish for a pre-production model it's pretty good we're gonna have to see how the full production models are you can actually adjust the windscreen lift it up like that it gives it a bit of a more acute angle 7 inch display that shows us the time, the temperature, rev counter, speed, fuel, trip meter, odometer and engine temperature we also have adjustable levers hazard lights, normal controls like any scooters you can turn on and off the lights I don't think this will become on this will be coming on production models because in Europe it's mandatory to have the low beams on all the time but let's see it a bit more you know currently I am not bottoming out the suspension and considering I'm a pretty heavy guy that's pretty interesting although it's soft I'm not bottoming out and the ABS although it's not some sort of complicated off-road ABS it does its job pretty nicely the tires feel positive I know it's it's slipping a little bit on the grass but uh, for stock tires pretty good 
I mean we're doing 40 50 kilometers an hour off-road on grass and the pickup bumps good felt that one in the ass and brakes you see when you hard brake it it really dives it really just dives on the front end like there's no tomorrow that's because of the soft suspension now it does slow the scooter down you just have to get used to the sensation of diving of a diving front end but all in all it feels quite positive positive. and uh, yeah it is fun now I know exact. I don't know exactly what price we could have it here in Romania. I know in Greece it's something like three and a half thousand euros, which for something with 16 horsepower is actually pretty good. 70, decent. You know what? Let's do an acceleration run. Okay. Can we, warm, can we warm up the rear tire? Yep. And... Punch it! 50, 60, 70, 75. Braking, 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 braking. Not emergency braking, but decent braking. So the engine has enough power to do a burnout and to get up to 75 kilometers an hour in something like 100 150 meters. Real positive. What it is missing is the instant acceleration. So the clutch is a little bit softly sprung. The clutch springs are a little bit soft. I would have liked them I would have liked a more instant reply from the engine because it has the power. Even when we're cruising, we're cruising at 5000 rpm, so maybe a little bit of, of heavier weights on the variator, that would have been nice. Let's do one more proper emergency braking because if we start from here and end up there, there's no gravel. All right. Launch it! Decent acceleration and hard on the brakes. There is gravel, there is gravel. Damn it, there still is gravel. But the ABS worked perfectly. I had intervention both on the front and on the rear. Did his job really well. And let's say city speeds at like 40, 50. Hard on the brakes. Good, good, good. The brakes aren't fading at the moment, even though we're getting them pretty warm. <laughs> but uh, yeah, it's a decent machine. For a prototype, it feels well put together, the engine feels nice. Maybe I would have liked a bit of a different setting to the transmission. But uh, for now, as a prototype, it's quite an interesting machine. <laughs> it's okay, it's on. It's pretty fun. Decent power. Yes, for 150, very decent. It will do a burnout. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> It will do a burnout. Yes, it does. Nice. <laughs> burnout. So, will you race? Will you race? Wanna race? <laughs> so this one is like a baby one of these. Yes. With the 125 engine and 15 horsepower. And also it's not the adventure. Yeah, it's the regular it's scooter. The regular. And another difference is that it has a start and stop system. Like okay. Now.
I know these are just prototypes and they're basically the factory just sends some units as an idea and then you give your feedback to exactly. them what do you want changed for our market in Europe and out of these two that one was chosen to be imported right uh, currently yes we don't know depends if final. yeah so this has 14 horsepower 125 and it has the shocks with the remote reservoirs start and stop, start and stop. flat floor this is the start and stop yeah it was set off little dash a flat floor yeah let's see this one this is the engine that will come on the Mr. 125 also I think I'm not sure. I'm not sure. oh nope. start stop yes, let's see how oh goes. no I just pressed the kill switch <laughs> Okay, so this is another model set by DY Moto as a sample, as a prototype. It's a smaller 125cc city scooter, which has about 14 horsepower, liquid-cooled engine. <coughs> it's no longer the adventure style of scooter, but uh, it's a lot smaller than the Mista. Also, like the Mista has keyless go, and also it has start-stop. So let's see this one. When you're at a traffic light. the engine switched off we have the automatic start stop feature and when we want to go so the engine is off when we want to go okay okay decent decently quick response it feels light it feels nimble no now i don't have any kind of specs on this one so i know nothing about it the suspension is a, a bit stiffer than the Mista, but then again, the Mista is very, very soft. So this is decently sprung. Braking. Ah, you can feel the tires are small and narrow. They were scrabbling for grip back there. But let's see with a start stop, if you're at a traffic light. Uh, you don't look at the lights and all of a sudden the light turns green so it stopped the engine stopped you're at a traffic light light turns green mm, there is a bit of a delay 40 50 60 70 almost so yeah a bit a bit down on power from the mister but that's normal the mister is about 16 and a half horsepower this should be around 14 okay okay so when there's not gravel on the road the brakes are actually pretty positive now you can also get some more decent braking force with some proper tires but for now this is decent we have a small windscreen up here doesn't give much wind protection but eh, it is some <laughs> yeah I know it's small it's light soft suspension that no it's here yes, see push yes, okay like so a little bit more force the yeah small. not even yeah they should make a bigger yes. area not even at that, uh, yeah shell. yeah yeah they could raise the floor a little bit and move the fuel tank like sim is doing now with a lot yes. of models yes. just move it under the floor make a wide short tank but uh, that is a lifesaver for sims that they have such a big uh, i have you know i have the st200 because oh, of that I huge have the 125 <laughs> And the, the space is enormous. <laughs> yeah. A good first effort. Yes. You can tell they are prototypes. Yes. 
I mean, this doesn't feel like 14 horsepower, it feels like 12. Maybe if uh, the start and stop system has something to do with it. I don't know. But that one at 16 feels a little bit better, but then again, I think the DRG that also has 16 feels even better. Yes. So, uh, factors, though. what? They have different factors. Yeah, 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 I know. So, 19 years old. Yes. Just one short spin. Carburetor. Give it one minute. Yeah. Okay, so this used to be Mr. R's old scooter. A Joyride from 2003, a Joyride 200. Haven't ridden a sim this old. But, uh, you know what? Oh yeah. Oh, this feels comfortable. This feels really, really comfortable. Now, he did tell me this one is for sale. So, uh, do, I, do I want to ride it 900 kilometers to Romania tomorrow? Hmm, tempting, quite tempting, I have to say. Let's see some punch. Yep, it has a lot of pickup. Now this is a carbureted engine, so the power delivery is a little bit, or actually not the power delivery, I should say the response of the engine is a little bit uh, more immediate than uh, fuel injected. I mean, if you're standing still, just it instantly wants to go. And it has power, it's comfy, you have a flat floor, a lot of under seat storage. Oh boy. <laughs> oh boy, this is bad. This is bad. I'm starting to like this one. <laughs> oh boy. Oh, this is not good. This is, uh, this is not good because uh, he told me what he wants for it and I can afford it. That's, that's the bad thing. I can afford it, it rides good, it's been well maintained, well looked after, it's comfy, I could see myself riding long distance with it, hmm. I don't know, the carbureted part scares me, but damn it, does it feel like fun, it feels small, it feels light, but yet comfortable and punchy, the engine has a lot of punch, oh boy. I can see why these Joyrides 200 used to be quite popular in the old days. Uh, you see quite a lot of them for sale second hand. They're a comfy light little scooter, good in traffic but also it feels like it would be good on long distance trips because you have so much leg room and yet and also you have so much space to pack up a lot of baggage with you. Doggo! <laughs> Cute dog. I don't know. I'll have to think about it a little bit more. But I have to say, it is quite tempting to ride this thing back to Romania. It is registered and everything. I can just pay the man and get on it and ride tomorrow. But we'll see. We'll see. For now, this was fun. The Mesta and this, this was fun. We'll see what else the day brings. Our day is coming to a close here at the Gorgolis compound. And uh, it's been a fun day. We've seen just about everything inside. Of course, I can't show you everything. I showed you what I could show you, but we did take the Mista out for a test ride. We did take the old Joyride 200 for a test ride. I'm still thinking about it. Very dangerous, very dangerous indeed. I'm still thinking about it. Uh, but yeah, that has been it for today. I hope this was uh, 
enlightening for at least my Greek audience because I know there are quite a lot of you out there. And uh, if you're interested in scooters or motorcycles, don't forget to check them out. Sim, Daytona products, honestly, I like them very much. They are affordable, they are well made, and you have the full backing of a company with tradition. But for now, thank you all so very much for watching, and take care out there, and ride safe. Goodbye! Oh,